They are accused of cheating at Cleveland's Police Academy, and now they've lost their fight to prove they can pass. A judge just ruled the city does not have to let them retake that state certification test. Five on your side, investigator Scott Knoll live for us outside the federal courthouse with more on today's decision. Scott. Well, they're accused of cheating, but the lawyer for the recruit says the city hasn't proven anything. And because of that, he believes they should get a shot at becoming police. Before they can hit the streets, police need to pass the state certification exam. That typically happens after they complete police academy. But in the case of 15 Cleveland recruits under investigation for cheating on written work, it's life in limbo after the academy's commander decided not to let them take the test. Nine of the accused went to court asking a judge to force the city to let them take the exam, claiming, unfortunately, the recruits have been left completely in the dark and career-altering decisions have been made without any regard to their due process rights. But the city countered, denying the decision to bench the group was discipline, instead saying the public deserves cops who know the fundamentals of being a police officer. Writing, failure to adequately articulate and or employ these tenants of law enforcement should disqualify any applicant from serving, at least for a period of time, as a police officer for the city of Cleveland. Ultimately, the judge siding with the city, ruling it wasn't a violation of recruits' rights to keep them from testing. The group didn't want to comment after the decision. Neither did the city's legal team, pointing out the recruits still have a lawsuit against the city. Lawyers for the group clearly disappointed, but say now their focus turns to something else, clearing their names and finding some way to get them scheduled to take the state certification. Well, we're hopeful that they can. You know, there's, there's a lot of gray area in the regulations about how these tests can be administered and who administers them and that sort of thing. But, um, you know, we're hopeful to get them into the test soon, and that's our priority right now. The city says it's in the process of scheduling the disciplinary hearings for the recruits, those expected in the coming weeks. Reporting live downtown, I'm 5 on your side, Investigator Scott Knoll.